Viewers, since we last met against Fulham and Preston, we've lost three in a row. We're going through the motions to get to the West Brom game, and this message has appeared. We're in trouble. We are in deep trouble. Let's get into this meeting and see what happens. Not happy with the current performance. Why do we think we perform so badly? Well, if you hadn't, if you'd give me more money, that would have helped. Um, what do we say here? Been playing really well. I'll do. Unfortunately, need to see tangible proof because that's not been the case. Okay, things will look a lot better in a month's time. Ooh. We look forward to you keeping your promises, promise, but if you fail we'll have no choice but to sack you. You should be aware that failure to live up to commitments you've made here could result in the termination of your contract. We believe it's important to stay on good terms and hopefully continue to work together. So, no points total, which is fine. I think what they basically mean by that is get that wage bill down. We're selling in January. That's all we can do. <sighs> Join me again in a minute for the next games. And <sighs> big times ahead. Welcome to today's episode. Well, after that introduction, viewers. Big games coming up. Like I say, I, I think the problem is they're not happy with the wage budget, which they cut, and then we've not been able to sort out. But we'll have to do that in January. Nevertheless, team for today. Minelli in goal, back for Dakovic, Schmidt, Soy and Flanagan. Hansen in defensive midfield with Palmeria and Irvine in the centre. With Lewis Potter and Gabriel on the wings with Pereira leading the lines. Really need Pereira to start scoring because he's not doing it at the moment, unfortunately. And... He's our biggest goal threat, although, like I say, if he's not scoring, he's not at the moment, so, but we need him to start scoring, really, because we're, we're a lot weaker when he's not. We are currently 15th in the table as well. I mean, we're nine points off the playoffs as it goes at literally the halfway point. I forgot to say Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Boxing Day as well. First highlight, though, comes to us, Hansen into Flanagan, plays it. Almost a killer ball back to Schmidt into absolute no man's land. Dakovic on this left. Back to Schmidt. What can we do? Hansen. Schmidt. Back to Minelli. Soy. Flanagan. Gabriel on this right. Brings it forward. Can he get the cross in? Trying to skip past the defender. He puts the cross in, but it's headed away far too easily by West Brom, who are second in the division at the moment. I thought we were going to give away. I thought they were just going to give away a penalty. It ran far too easily through the defence there. Uh, but it's always near him. And there they have it. West Brom are 1-0 up. Oh, no. West Brom are 1-0 up. Like I say, this is probably one of the hardest teams in the division, I would say. If not the, well, the second, I would say, after Aston Villa. But Clark's also just seems unmarked in that area there. Highlight the Soy into Schmidt. This is coming straight from the kickoff, 20 minutes in. Schmidt. Palmeria, back to Schmidt again, Hansen, we're just playing it around the centre, Lewis Potter, looks for Palmeira, Palmeira, I can't find her, Pereira, sorry, but West Brom bring it forward and Josh King's made it 2-0, that looks far, far too easy at the back, 20 minutes in, we've had an absolutely nightmare start, Flanagan's beaten far too easy there, Soy is not he, he is again beaten far too easy. Minelli makes a poor attempt to save it. And we're 2-0 down. We are 2-0 down. On course to lose. Number four in a row. I mean, I don't even... What do you even say to the players at this point? West Brom have had 36% possession in the 2-0. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Where do you even go coming up to half time? Where do you even go unless... I mean, we're going to have to make a a change at half time I think because that was just completely unacceptable frankly that that was 
unacceptable. We're gonna make. We're gonna have to. I, I mean, where do you look? Palmyria is looking anxious, so that's the worrying thing. So we'll bring Scott on. I mean, oh, no, we won't. No, we won't. What do we do? What do we do? I suppose this is the question. We'll bring, yeah, we'll bring Samuelson in there. I mean, two 0 down at half time. I know West Brom in second, but we've not even put up a fight. We've had the one highlight really. But Gabriel with the corner, poor corner, headed straight away. Schmidt into Lewis Potter, the great save by the West Brom goalkeeper. Another corner here. Hansen, can he get a good delivery in? He can't even beat the first man. That really annoys me in just general football as well when the first man can't be beaten from a corner. As West Brom now launched the counter attack, Josh King's running through. Great challenge by Soy, but it's we're shocking. We've been absolutely shocking so far. I I just don't know. We're gonna have to make another change. I think we're we're in danger here. We are really in danger of losing the job. As West Brom hit the post, we made them look far far too easy for them today. With a West Brom corner now, highlights over. We'll make another change. I mean, with Lewis Potter's having an appalling game, we'll take him off. Airvine 6.4, Dakovic 6.4. We'll leave the third, the third substitution for now, but we're not having the. We're just having an abysmal game. That, quite frankly, we're having an absolute shocker of a game. Not what we need to be doing at this point of the season. West Brom with a free kick in a dangerous area, and there it is, it's 3 0. Again, we've not been able to clear the lines. We're just. We're just un, unable to defend at the moment. What is... He's beaten far too easily. He's beaten the defender far, far too easily. He's on the wrong side of him. It, 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 it's just a nightmare. 3-0, uh, we're, I mean, we're down to 17. And it's looking very tight around this area. To say Stoke, crew a third bottom with 22. We need to book our ideas up and quick. Really quick. As, as I said in the last episode, do we... Do we look at? Do we look at changing? Is anybody going to want us? I think there's some serious questions I need to ask for myself here as well. Of do we want to change? It or do we want to try and stick at Hull City? Because frankly, the money's not there. We're not. It's just a difficult one because there's no money there to try and mount the playoff push that we need or want. And we're we're having to sell the best players to balance the books. As Gabriel gets a ball in, the Scots there to meet it. Nothing short of a cons well, nothing else but a consolation goal. Good to see Scott get a goal though, his first of the season. I don't think he's really played that much this season, to be honest. But good ball by Gabriel to find Scott on Marts at the far post. But too little, too late. Too little, too late. We really, really need to book our ideas up. That Kovic with a deep free kick. I mean, that just sums it up. Although Pereira's through here, can he score? No. Last season, he'd have put that away. I'd have almost put my money on that. Him scoring that last season. Scott brings it down on this left. Into Pereira. Challenged far, far too easily. Do we look at changing the tactic again? Is this the problem? I don't... There's so many issues going on at this club at the moment that we need to sort out. Granted, the tactics... Well, the team selections obviously aren't working, but something's got to change. Lewis Potter with a 6.4 again. He's gone from hero to absolute zero at the moment. Tell the boys we're far from pleased. We'll just leave it there, but that is abysmal. That is absolutely abysmal. Join me again in two days' time. Two days' time, and we will play Middlesbrough. Welcome back to this crucial, crucial Middlesbrough game. There was a news message that came up as well during the couple of days that we had off. That this game could see me sacked if results don't go our way. I'm playing 4-4-1-1. Root 1 game today. I don't usually play Root 1. I don't like Root 1 in real life. At the moment, I'm willing to try it. And at the end of the day, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, back to the drawing board. So, team for today for this crucial game, for my future, this saves future, well, I say this saves future. What happens with the whole city Let's get into this. Team for today, Minelli in goal. Back four of Fleming, Device, Schmidt and Flanagan. Four in the midfield are Lewis Potter, Hansen, Irvine and Gabriel on the wing. 
Scott in behind Waydan, who's come in to lead the line today. Pereira's not even making the bench. We're bringing Gomez in on the bench as well. I think we've dropped Burke as well. I think Alberto's not even making the squad. It, it, it's something different. It's not something that is pretty football, but I think it's something that needs to be done. Middlesbrough are not going to be an easy team today it's by any stretch of the imagination, but at the end of the day, we need to do something different. Is it going to work? We'll find out in 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 a short while. It's it's in, going to be interesting, viewers. It's certainly going to be interesting. Here we go then. Kickoff is here. The early highlight to us. Trefezi with the ball in, and it's just headed over. Go kick. I was hoping that we might have immediate dividends playing off from that. As Middlesbrough pick up the ball on the edge of our area, Irvine gets it into Fleming. I brought Fleming in as well today just because Statkovic hasn't been performing well and doesn't have a good partnership on that left-hand side as Gabriel's fa tackled far, far too easily in the in the centre and loses the ball. As another Middlesbrough corner comes up now, they get the ball in and oh, I thought that was going to be 1-0 then. Minelli with a good goal, with a long goal kick, meets absolutely no one. As Middlesbrough play it around in the centre, but Gabriel picks up the loose ball, he brings it forward, he drives forward, what can he do? Skips past the defender and it's, it's saved by the goalkeeper, gone out for a corner. Hanson with the corner now, gets a deep ball in, way dance there and it's gone, it's gone well wide. It's looking more positive than what it did against West Brom, that's what we need. It's, it's back to the wall time unfortunately at the moment. It's, it's not football that I like to see, but I think it's going to be effective football. As Device picks up the ball, launches it long, goes to absolutely no one. Accuracy, passing accuracy is out of the window completely. But my word, do we need a win today? Middlesbrough now, break down on this right-hand side though with Kamara. Tries to get past the defender, he can't. As they play it all the way back into their defence, another long ball. It looks like, and I was going to say it looks like they're playing one ball, but what a finish that is by Middlesbrough. Flanagan with a missed interception, just long ball, straight over the top. Flanagan's absolutely nowhere to be seen, miles out of position, and it's straight past the goalkeeper. Oh, my word, what are we doing? Try and get something out of these players. I'd, try and get some more out of them. I'd, I just, it, words fail me sometimes on with this. As we're looking ever closer to these relegation places, I know the media predicts us 16, but my word, we are not a 16. Well, apparently we are. As is 2 0. That looked far, far too easy. The board unrest is back. It's it's going unmarked in the middle. Un who's this here? Who is that there that's just with his back to the defence or the attack, I should say? We need to lash into these players because uh, we, we're, we're, we're shocking, that, frankly. We are absolutely shocking. Who, who's, that, who's not happy with that? Waden, Scott and Hansen. Get a grip. Get an absolute grip. We're, we've had one shot on target. I thought we looked better in the first 10 minutes, but it's come back to bite us again, Middlesbrough. Another highlight here, though, for Middlesbrough is I don't even think we said Weirdant's name apart from the one ahead of Fleming into Device, Irvine, Schmidt, all the way back to Manelli. He's going to hoof it forward, I suspect, and he does straight to Lewis Potter, who gets past his, his marker. Back to Fleming. Can he get the ball in into Irvine? What can he do with it? Ugh, can't find Gabriel, unfortunately, on the right hand side, but he's won the ball back in a good position. No one's there. Lewis Potter, he's unleashed it. Ah, he's hit the post. He's hit the post, corner kick, that was a weird looking clearance by Middlesbrough, Hanson with the corner now, whips the ball in, can't even beat the first man once again, my word, oh my word, we are bad at the moment, we are really really bad, Waden into Gabriel, Waden again, Irvine, with just a ball that didn't need to be played to no one, but we somehow got it back, Lewis Potter on this left hand side, Got past McNair. Gabriel's there. He's offside. He's offside. Oh, I thought that was a good bit. Of... Yeah, he is as well. He's a good couple of yards offside. I thought we'd found our way back into the game there. Good ball by Lewis Potter to find Gabriel there. But 
we need changes. We need changes again. We're doing nothing. We've offered nothing again. What changes do it right? Waden comes off for Gabriel. Didier, we're not, we won't bring him on. What do we do here? Lewis Potter with 6.5 again. We'll bring Adelican on. We'll swap him with Gabriel. We'll leave it for those two now. And maybe look at changing, making another change very soon. Fleming with a 6.3. I mean, Flanagan 6.0. He needs to, he's off. He's coming off for Burke. It's just calamity at the moment. Absolute calamity. As we made all three subs and then Hansen goes off with a potential foot injury. I can only assume he's broken it. So we're down to 10 men. With three minutes to go, we're 2-0 down. And we've offered nothing. We've had ten, two shots on target. I always, how much space has he got in this middle here? How much space are we giving them? I don't think Route 1's the answer, viewers. I do not think Route 1's the answer. As, there we have it. We've just lost 2-0. Is this the end? Is this the end? Uh, we'll wait and see. As we're days before the transfer window. It doesn't look like there's anything there. So, thankfully, as Hansen's twisted his ankle, he's out for a month. Look at that December. Five losses in a row. It started so well as well with a win against Preston. We'll leave it there. What we'll do is we'll come... Well, providing we're still here, we'll come back for the Luton, the Villa and Luton games. But my word, do we need to improve before then? If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, I really hope you have watching us lose two games. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you again for more next time.